man with no friends or a very small circle is a very, very secure man, trust me. He's learned that quality matters more than quantity. He doesn't need a crowd to validate his worth. His confidence comes from within, not from the approval of others. He's not afraid to stand alone because he knows his own strength. He's selective with his energy and who he lets into his life. He's seen the fake friendships, the drama, and the gossip, and he's walked away from all of it. He's built a life that's peaceful and drama-free, and he's happier for it. He doesn't need to be surrounded by people who feel complete. He's comfortable in his own company. He knows that true friends are rare, and he'd rather have a few real ones than a bunch of fake ones. A small circle is made up of people he can truly trust, people who have proven their loyalty. He doesn't waste time on meaningless relationships. His time is precious, and he spends it wisely. He's a man who knows what he wants, and he won't settle for anything less. So if you meet a man with no friends or a very small circle, don't underestimate him. He's secure, confident, and knows his worth. He's a man who doesn't need validation from others because he's already validated himself. If you're not following the Abundance Station project, you're probably never going to see us again. But if you are, congrats. Hello. Inside the family, what you thinking again? The man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a good man. We've known each other many years. We've just been in the future. We've been in the future. We've been in the Il sogno è la mente, ce l'hai ancora nel cose? Tu vuoi rischiare il suo cucciere a Reggio? Non mi racconta le cose tue, non mi è un interesse. Spend time with the family? Sure I do. Take sides with anyone against the family again. I spend my life trying not to be careless. It's my family, Kate. It's not me. My God. Can't you forgive Fredo? He's so sweet and helpless without you. If history's taught us anything, it's that you can kill anyone. Become a sister of the Don't ever take sides with anyone. Make him an offer, How do you do that? My father made him an offer he couldn't refuse. Mo well, loves the business. He never said nothing to me about it. Sir. I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Don't ever take sides with anyone. You devised the murder of the heads of the so-called five families in New York to assume and consolidate your nefarious power. If anything in this life is certain, 
If history's taught us anything, it says you can kill anyone. Spend time with your family? Sure I do. Good. Unless a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. My father taught me many things. He taught me, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. You talk about vengeance. Is vengeance going to bring your son back to you? Or my boy to me? When they come, they'll come up with your love. You're my older brother. And I love you. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. Look at the mask of my boy. He's dead, Tom, and nothing can bring him back. I never wanted this for you. I worked my whole life. I don't apologize to take care of my family. And I refuse to be a fool. I spend my life trying not to be careless. Women and children can be careless, but not men. Eh, 
These are wonderful things that we've achieved in Havana. And there's no limit to where we can go from here. This kind of government knows how to help business, to encourage it. The hotels here are bigger and swankier than any of the rough joints we put in Vegas. And we can thank our friends in the Cuban government who just put up half of the cash with the Teamsters on a dollar for dollar basis as relaxed restrictions on imports. What I'm saying is that we have now what we have always needed, real partnership with the government. In his life, he wants to turn over the things he's been blessed with, turn them over to friend. But uh, I must say no to you, and I'll give you my reason. It's true, I have a lot of friends in politics. But they wouldn't be friendly very long if they knew my business was drugs instead of gambling, which they regard as a, a harmless vice. Drugs is a dirty business. It, make, it doesn't make any difference to me what a man does for a living, you understand? But uh, your business is uh, a little dangerous. If you're worried about security, you know, the titles will guarantee it. Oh, are you telling me that the Italians guarantee our investment? I have a sentimental weakness for my children, and I spoil them, as you can see. They talk when they should listen. A question for you. If you were in Michael's position, what would you have done? You know Fredo wants to feel important, and he really was stepped over, but for good reason. And the thing is, this isn't the first time Fredo had shown his incompetence. The godfather himself, Don Vito, had made a similar mistake. Signs of Fredo's insubordination have been shown on multiple occasions. So how would you have dealt with this dilemma? Came over around 1956, sponsored by the Barzini family. Fabrizio. Took so long. What's wrong with you? I leave for New York tomorrow. I come out of price. Do you know who I am? I'm Mo Green. I made my bones when you were going out with cheerleaders. Only don't tell me you're innocent. Because it insults my intelligence. It makes me very angry. People that aren't going to be carried away. I mean, we're not murdering. In spite of what this undertakes. What? Did you, did you pay attention? Of course, Dad. What are you? City of Birmingham will help you. Oh, no. Oh, no.
I'm a superstitious man. And in some unlucky accidents you'll befall him if he should get shot in the head by a police officer. Or if he should hang himself in his jail cell. Or if he's struck by a bolt of lightning. Then I'm going to blame some of the people in this room. And then I do not forgive. There's a plane waiting for us to take us to Miami. Make a big thing about it. You spend time with the family? Sure, I do. Good. Because a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a good man. Sonny, come on, don't touch the arm. I saw an interesting thing. The rebel was being arrested by the military police. And rather than be taken alive, he exploded a grenade he had hidden in his jacket. He killed himself, and he took a captain of the command with him. All right, Johnny? Those rebels are their lunatics. Maybe so. But it occurred to me, the soldiers are paid to fight. The rebels are. What does that tell you?